Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you use at the rate parameters annotation in TestNG? Let me answer. In TestNG, we use this annotation that is at the rate parameters above the TestNG test methods to receive the data from the testng.xml files. Okay, let me practically demonstrate this for you to receive the parameters or data from the testng XML files. Okay, that is centralized testng XML files into the test methods. We use this annotation. So, how to do I know? Let me demonstrate now. For example, I'll go to this uh, one of the sample testng project. I'll open this class. Here we have two tests. I'll just remove one of the tests. I just have one test. And uh, here, I would like to write, write some Selenium code, let's say, okay? Web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Like this, I'll create an object for the web driver. I'll hover the mouse and import this web driver from Selenium and import this uh, Chrome driver also from Selenium. Then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot get. I'll provide this. Uh, I'll hard code the application URL first of all. I'm directly passing the URL of this application here. Okay, now if I run this test, the test will work where it will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, and open the application URL. Everything will perfectly work fine. Let the test run. It need to open the Chrome browser, then maximize the browser and open the application URL in the browser. Let's see. It has done that. Okay, it's working fine. So what if I have more tests? Here only one test is there, only one class is there, one file is there, but uh, there are multiple files and multiple tests like this and in every test, in maximum every test, uh, this URL is being used. Okay, this URL is being used. And tomorrow what happened is, Let's say there are 100 tests here. Tomorrow, what happened is when I run the test, okay, when I run the test tomorrow, what happened was the client has changed the application URL. And then what's the problem? Maintenance is the problem. I have to go to the individual test and update the URL in every test. Okay, if the URL changes, here I need to update the test. Here also, I need to update the URL in the test. Instead of doing that, what if I centralize this data? What if I remove the hard coding of this data? How that is possible? That is possible with the help of some annotations and all. I'll cover that. First, we have to go to this testng.xml file of this testng project. And here under the test, where uh, this demo class is being called and all. So under the test, you create one tag known as parameter. Name is equal to, give the name of that uh, value or data name is equal to URL, value is equal to the URL of the application. Here we have to give the URL of the application, that is, this is the URL of the application. I'll mention in the value and I'll self-close this like this, okay? Now, I would like to pass this uh, URL data to this test methods, okay? I have already centralized the data here, okay? The URL data I have centralized here. I don't have to hard code the data in every test anymore. Tomorrow the URL changes, I can simply go to the testng.xml file and here I can update the URL at one place. I don't even have to touch any of the test methods, right? That's the advantage. Now, but how to receive that uh, data from the centralized uh, testng.xml file? For that here, I have to write at the rate para meters annotation. Okay, this is how we have to use. The question is how do you use at the rate parameters annotation in testng? Import this from testng library and here, Provide curly braces. If you have multiple parameters, it will be useful. In double quotes, give the name of the parameter that you have centralized it here. Name of the parameter is URL. Okay, the same thing you have to give it here. And here, create a parameter string. Let's say you. Okay. Uh, or app URL. Some na some name you can give. Okay, it it may not be same as this one, but this URL will be passed here. And that one, you will remove the hard coding and directly pass it here. Here also same thing. This test method also has to receive the same URL. So 
So here also, I'll just give this, uh, you can give some, create some parameter and uh, pass this URL here. Um, um, now, there's no hard coding of the data, right? Anywhere, right? After I copy this uh, here, there's no hard coding. What, what's happening? I just need to copy paste this one. Let's see, control B. Yeah, now it got fine. So now hard coding is removed, okay? Tomorrow, if the application URL changes, the URL will be retrieved from this testng.xml file, which is centralized. If URL changes, I'll just update it here. That's it. And uh, this test methods will read the URL from this testng.xml file. There are two test methods. Now, instead of running the test methods from this demo class, I have to run it now because there is a parameter I need to pass from testng.xml file. I need to run this uh, test methods in the demo class from here, from the testng.xml file. Like this, I have to run. I should not be running the demo.java okay, anymore. The two test methods are going to run properly and they are going to load the application URL without any problems. This is how we have to use at the rate parameters annotation in testng. Okay. You see, one, one test, second test is running. Same application URL will be open. Okay. Done. So, hope guys, you understood what is the how what is the user, how to use uh, at the rate parameters annotation in testng. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.